Hello folks, this is Engineer 775 on a beautiful December winter day that is about 60 degrees out so far. So uh, we're not having much of a winter here, but we'll take it. So we decided to work this week before and after Christmas. Abraham's just a, he's just a slave driver. And so we're just uh, putting together a, uh, an improvement to this homestead. Behind me is a nice little farm. I put a water system in here six years ago and they've added so many things RV parks and tiny houses and tent platforms you've seen it on other videos and they got to the point where they just need more water and no matter what I did the other pump that we put in just couldn't produce enough so we're putting in a Grundfos 11 SQF pump and we're gonna put three solar panels on here Okay, so our, our upgrade here is going to consist of combining these panels. These panels have been working really well for six years. One panel pumping water into the tanks, the other panel charging the battery. So we're going to be removing this. We're going to go ground foss all the way. We're going to combine these two panels for battery charging. I'll show you where. And then we're going to put three panels on the pump. So again, Good old flex charge been cranking away. These things are bulletproof. I love these chargers, charge controllers. Now the batteries have been worked and worked and worked. Uh, two 888Ds have been on. They're on six years off grid. So incredible that they've lasted this long for as much work as they do running this piston pump. But that's just a testament to the efficiency of the Dankoff piston pump. All right. So what we're going to do is rework all of this to allow us to do uh, quite a few things and I'm not going to go into it right now but right now we're going to replace the small sun rotor pump and put a 11 gallon in it. This thing only pumps 3 to 4 gallons. We're going to go to 10 to 11. So we're going to pull that pump out and get that up and running and then give them the ability to run the, the new pump off of a generator, off of solar, off of the grid and then to pressurize this tank if we need to. If the piston pump can't keep up I'll go through all that later, but there's a lot of plumbing that's got to be done here, and we better get to work. So, upgrade to the uh, the farm system, um, and no matter what I do, everybody always wants to add something, so we added another little inverter here to run lights. So, it's amazing that this pla place has been serviced by two solar panels for six years. It has taken care of multiple homes and RVs and a lot of things. It's, it's crazy that one solar panel could do that with that piston pump. That's just again how efficient a piston pump is and then one tank keeping the the cisterns full and there's also you know there's <laughs> I have to show you but it's a um, gravity fed system for cows and goats and gravity fed down to two tiny houses that are f occupied full-time with two different families so it's just amazing and uh, but over the last year or so there have been times when they haven't had enough water so what we're doing is we're, we're gonna fix that these two are going to batteries and the three on that pole are gonna go to pumping water so just a little upgrade here with some great customers so let's get to work here's the pump we pulled out okay finishing the upgrade to the homestead water problem we're doubling the water here io 101 transfer switch and shut off on the left the cu 200 i don't know if the the refresh rate allows you to see anything on there is just craziness 270 watts it's the end of the day that we're pumping filling the tanks we just we're about to be in the in the shade but uh everything's good and now we have both of these panels charging the battery so we've doubled the charging capacity, really tripled the water pumping capacity. Abraham's getting ready to help me put the simple pump back in. And uh, here's an added pressure switch for the Grundfos for backup in case the piston pump ever goes down. This gives them a quick way to use the pump to pressurize the bladder tank instead of having it fill the cisterns, which it does every day, to an overflow. So I think we've added enough bells and whistles now to make them happy and uh, buy them some time if things do 
go wrong. Things. This has been running for six years. It probably needs a rebuild. Those kinds of things. So while you're rebuilding your tank off pump, you can be running off your Grundfos solar and electric. We're good here with the flex charge. You see it red light on means it's diverting. Battery's full. And we're getting twice the amount of amperage, twice the amount of watts into this 24 volt battery bank here that's been here amazingly for six years, five to six years now. So, hey, cool kid. Yeah, what's up? <laughs> Had my helper Elijah today on the job. Did you learn anything today? Uh, I'd say so, yes. He'd say so. Well, we exposed him to a lot of things. Hopefully, he did learn something, and it was a beautiful day be working on an old farm and making a few upgrades so we're good to go the only thing they did they shorted me the generator plug in the box just gotta love that they shorted me the generator plug for the Grundfos IO 101 so we'll have to come back that's always fun and then we boxed up the old pump and we're gonna give that just put that in storage it actually still works fine it just just doesn't produce enough water for this place so, well, we switched everything over to the SQ flexes. So we're going to put the simple pump in as a backup to the backup to the backups. And um, they've used it several times. But I'm hoping that they'll use the Grundfos as the backup before they have to go to the hand pump. But regardless, they, they're they going to have it. So we had to take the roof off. And we're going to put the pipes through. While I was here with the machine, we did a little bit of found a spring. This was such a wet swampy area. So there's a little spring head here. So I made a little ditch. Such a wet mess. So I'll have to wait till it dries out. But it is just running like a creek. And that got rid of a lot of water that was kind of running in this pump house. A little aggravating. So now it's running behind the buildings and running back into where it should. All right. I think that's it. It is almost the end of Christmas week. And we're just working. If you need help with putting in a water system and you want backups to your backups, we'd be happy to help you. Love designing these things. This is kind of what I do for fun. I know it's might seem boring to you, but pretty exciting to me. So if you need help getting water and getting wells drilled and knowing where to put them and anything to do with water, let me know. Oh, what's that? Somebody's coming to get me. All right, I guess that's my hint. Stop filming, get to work. Engineer 775, signing out.